So does antivirus software hurt your PC gaming performance? In this video sponsored by Bitdefender, we test how much of an impact different antivirus software has on gaming performance and what you can do to maximize your frame rates. But to start with, it's worth explaining how antivirus software can interact with system resources. You're probably aware of how antivirus software can prevent access to a file while it's being scanned, but the more critical element for our purposes is how these programs affect performance. Like other background processes, antivirus scans and updates take up a certain amount of CPU, RAM or SSD resources while active, reducing the amount available to games. This can have a knock-on effect on performance in terms of frame rates and frame times, especially in scenarios where the CPU is the limiting factor rather than your graphics card. We use tools like Revertuner Statistics Server to check CPU and GPU usage while running our tests. But you can also use tools built into Steam or Windows, like the Windows Game Bar or Steam's new performance monitor to discover whether you're CPU limited or GPU limited in your favorite game. If you're running a game with an unlocked frame rate, you should ideally see GPU utilization in the 95 to 100% range, which means you're effectively GPU bound, you're GPU limited. If it's significantly below this, you're most likely CPU limited, and this tends to translate into more erratic frame times, as CPU load can change drastically from frame to frame in a way that GPU load doesn't. As a general rule of thumb, you're more likely to be CPU bound at lower resolutions. Think 1080p or 1440p rather than 4K. And in games like RPGs, racing games or sims with complex physics calculations or high numbers of AI controlled characters on screen. You're also more likely to be CPU limited at extremely high refresh rates like in esports games like Counter-Strike or League of Legends. When you're CPU bound, it can be advantageous to turn on a frame rate limiter to minimize jarring frame rate drops. Frame rate limits are built into some games, but can also be enabled in your graphics card control panel or via third party software like Special K or Reva Tudor Statistics Server. Um, of course, the faster the CPU you have, the easier it is to push the bottleneck back to the graphics card where you tend to get better frame health, more consistent frame times. So we have recommended AMD's Ryzen X3D processors for a while now, as they tend to offer the best gaming performance. But how do cheaper Ryzen processors compare? And what about Intel's offerings? Does running antivirus software on a mainstream processor have any tangible impact on gaming performance? To find out, we tested Windows Defender, that's the standard that's installed on Windows, versus Bitdefender Antivirus Plus on two modern systems. One based around the mid-range Ryzen 5 9600X, and the other based around Intel's Core Ultra 5 25K. Both rigs were equipped with a high-end RTX 4090 graphics card fast DDR5 6000 CL30 RAM, a premium motherboard and a high-speed NVMe SSD, ensuring that CPU performance is the limiting factor. The idea is not to compare these two CPUs against one another, but instead to see how much of an impact different antivirus software has on your gaming experience on either platform. The findings are fairly conclusive with the more feature-rich Bitdefender Antivirus Plus not impacting performance versus the Window Defender setup that runs by default on almost every Windows 10 and Windows 11 PC. Now, the Intel test showed a little more variance between runs compared to the AMD system, perhaps due to the more conservative power limits used by default on recent Intel motherboards. But that per-run variance didn't seem to change whether you were using Windows Defender or Bitdefender. Uh, this remained true across all game genres and resolutions that we tested as well. In fact, outside of a handful of cases, our results showed the two AV solutions running neck and neck, with both chalking up victories in specific games and Windows Defender generally leading by a scant 1 or 2 percent margin. Um, yeah, for a game running around 60 frames per second like Flight Simulator, corresponds to like a one FPS difference. Basically imperceptible. Even in the fastest running game, Counter-Strike 2, 
only saw a margin of six frames per second uh, with 567 frames per second playing 560 frames per second on the Ryzen 5 9600X. Again, imperceptible to the human eye. Uh, for context, we deliberately chose the most CPU heavy scenes in the most CPU heavy games with the most CPU heavy settings to run our processor benchmarks. And we're talking about margin of error differences almost every time. If you're GPU limited, um, these become differences that are hard to measure with specialist tools, let alone notice with the naked eye. With that in mind then, choosing the right antivirus software can be important, but the major differences may come down to features rather than performance as modern CPUs seem easily able to handle AVs simply running in the background. Ideally, you want AV software that has been written with gaming in mind so that you aren't distracted during gameplay with pop-ups or scans that sap your CPU resources. Our testing has shown that two popular options, Windows Defender and Bitdefender, both are quite unobtrusive to gameplay, even on entry-level Ryzen and Intel Core Ultra processors with all features enabled. In fact, you shouldn't even notice that they're running in the background. Just remember to schedule scans for periods when your computer is idle. And with Bitdefender's game mode, this will happen automatically. Even stopping non-essential Windows and Bitdefender updates, notifications and background services while games are running. Of course, most people run many more background applications than just an antivirus, and often it's a lot of these background programs working in combination that can prove problematic. It's therefore worth checking the Windows Task Manager regularly, both to see how many resources background processes are taking up, as well as what programs are set to load on startup. If you don't use a program regularly, you should consider disabling it or even uninstalling it completely. That's about all that we've got for you on this one though. Thanks to Bitdefender for sponsoring this video. And if you're interested in trying the application, you can download a free trial via the link in the video description below. Following that just remains for me to remind you to like, subscribe, share in the notional case that you enjoyed this video and ring the bell to enjoy timely reminders for you when new content drops and potential algorithmic boosts for us. Check out our Patreon, which offers high quality video downloads, membership to the friendly DF Discord server, early access to videos, updates from the team and much more. But as always, thanks for watching and supporting Digital Foundry.